Ki Arakabusta guys, well hello and welcome and now I'm currently here at the office and I'm actually making the Kiwi slangs that I've learned here in New Zealand. I've asked a lot of my co-workers here, I've asked some of them of the slangs that they know. I'm gonna ask them one by one and maybe at the end of the video I'm gonna add some more. So yeah, Oop. this is Isabella or Isabella right? Hi. Yeah, you can Isabel. call me Bella. She's from uh, Brazil. Uh, what's the slangs that you've uh, learned living here in New Zealand? So, uh, sweet ass, it's cool or awesome. Nah, bro, it's uh, no thank you. Cheer, bro, that is cheers, thank you. Hips, it's like uh, lots or many. A, it's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's actually know. two meaning with of A, right? The yeah, question it's two A. two meaning, yeah. Like A as a question or A as a like, how you doing? I don't know what to yeah, say. Yeah, it's giving Yeah, thank okay. you very much, Bella. <laughs> thank you. This is Damien. Uh, yeah. Hi. And I am Damien. Yeah. I was born here, mm -hmm. and I've lived here for the past 22 years. Can you share a little bit of uh, slang, slang, colloquial yeah, language? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> We've got chur. Mm -hmm. So chur is basically. A word to affirm whatever you've just heard. So if you, if, if you were to go, my name is Damien, and be like, oh, sure, hi, Damien, or be like, <laughs> next one, skax. So a skax refers to a man or a woman mm -hmm. who is capable of uh, slaying that, uh, that uh, mm, you know, <laughs> he's got the steez, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a skax. Orgids. So orgids just means yes or cool. Affirmative. Similar to chur, you can use it in the same context. Oh, I'm gonna be late. All goods. Mm. Uh, cut. So when you when you're out on a night on the town mm -hmm. and you've had ten too many that mm. you really shouldn't have, and you end up vomiting all over the <laughs> club floor, and your friends have to carry you out by your by your arms, you've yeah. cocked it. That's when you've cocked it. You know you've cocked. Can you use it with the uh, the phone, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So you could be like, if your phone dies, and you'd mm. be like, ah, oh, mate, my phone cocked today. Ah. Yeah. Uh, and fop. So, so when someone's being real, uh, it means fresh off the boat. That's what it stands for. They're just really out of touch with ah, uh, okay. what's going on. So it'd be like, so if I said, oh, chur, and it's be like, oh, what does that mean? Ah, you fob, you don't know what chur means. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. All good, mate. This is my friend. Introduce yourself, bro. Hi, guys. Um, my name is Nick. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, from Colombia. I've been here for almost two years, mm -hmm. uh, year and a half, roughly, something between that. So, can you share uh, a Kiwi slang that you learned through time living here? Sure, sure. Yeah. A good word to learn is uh, bogan. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> here's a bogan. <laughs> Basically, a bogan is it's a someone non educated uh, person or something like that. So, yeah, that would be closer to that. A kiwi, kiwi is a good one. So, yeah. kiwi, uh, there's many things. Um, that have that word here. Mm -hmm. The first one is obviously the national bird. Mm -hmm. They uh, also, people refer to uh, like Kiwi born, Kiwi raised people as Kiwis. For New Zealander, right? For for New Zealanders, yeah. But, but I've uh, heard about the fruit. Oh yeah, yeah. So when they uh, talked about the fruit, they, they just say a Kiwi fruit. Just a fruit? So, yes, a Kiwi fruit. You have to say okay. Kiwi fruit in order to, to, otherwise they will think that you're talking about the bird or another like Okay, got gotcha. New Zealand national. Uh, no worries. No worries is a it's a quite common expression, not only here but also in um, Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it means not a problem, like all good, like no problem, all good, no worries. Jandals. Jandals is it's it's basically what um, Americans call uh, flip flops, or um, well, I think in Australia they call it uh, thongs. We call it uh, slippers. In a, in the Philippines. Yeah. Oh, no, nice, cool, like easy, easy. So yeah, basically those those kind of uh, shoes. Hips, hips is um, basically means lots, like a lot of something, mm -hmm. like heaps of friends, heaps of fruit, uh, fruit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Means just means a lot. A Westie, a Westie is basically a bogan who lives in a West Auckland. Like the, he's a Westie, <laughs> basically. <What? laughs> uh, that means that you just live in West Auckland. Another word uh, is. Uh, Egg. Mm -hmm. Basically, when when someone calls you that you're being an egg, it's uh, it means that you're being a, an idiot, a, a fool. Don't be an egg. 
like, oh, you're such an egg, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Another one is Kumara. It's a Maori name for um, sweet potato. The last one is uh, lollies. Lollies is, is just a word for um, for candy or um, sweet for kids or yeah, something sweet can be a lolly. Finally, this is a good one, um, uh, a Jaffa. Mm -hmm. Jaffa, it's, it's an acronym mm -hmm. uh, for um, just, <laughs> just another <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it. Thank you, bro. Choo -choo, guys. Choo -choo. This is my next friend. Introduce yourself, brother. What's up? My name is Solano. I'm a Brazilian, so lost in Aotearoa. That's mm -hmm. us. So the yeah. first one is that's us. How long have you been here? <laughs> God. I've been here, it's been about four years now. So what's the Kiwi slang that you've learned through time? Oh, there's heaps, and by the way, heaps is one of them. I would say my favorite one, I don't know if it's Kiwi, but if it's not, I don't care, but I learned here and it's legit. Legit mm -hmm. is amazing because you can use for everything. Mm -hmm. If it sounds legit, you just say legit. <laughs> so yeah, legit is the one. The <laughs> other one that I really like it is Kazi. Oi, Kazi is like, your brother, mm -hmm. you, uh, it comes from cousin. So when you're talking to your like really close friend, your bro, mm -hmm. as uh, they used to say in America, uh, you call you can call it cuz or cuzzy. So it's like you know you're having a conversation with your friend and hey cuzzy, what's up? Something like that. Another one, it's the yeah na na yeah. It's like very used here in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So. When you're not sure about something, for example, oh, have you watched that movie, bro? And then you go like, yeah, nah, nah, yeah. It's like maybe, so yeah, nah, nah, yeah. That's it. That's Beautiful. a quite old one, but still very used here. Uh, it's bugger. It's like, bugger. yeah, when something goes wrong, you go like, oh, bugger. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they use it a lot here in New Zealand as well. That's it, sweet ass. I think that's all I've got in my mind for now. Thank you, brother. That's us. So yeah guys, that's all for the moment and um, I'm gonna make part 2 for this one for Kiwi Slang. So um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you're gonna subscribe, click for the uh, bell button below so that you will be notified. That's all for now. Don't forget to be awesome, stay awesome and see you for my next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.